Robert Fuller, a well-known figure in classic Hollywood, has made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Whether you have a favorite movie or a special memory connected to him, many people feel a connection to his work. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned for some interesting, surprising, and emotional facts about this Hollywood actor. Keep watching for more fascinating insights. What's your favorite memory or personal experience with this well-known figure? Let us know in the comments. Born on July 29, 1933, in Troy, New York, Robert Fuller's early years laid the groundwork for a successful Hollywood career. Growing up in a tight-knit family, he learned the values of hard work and perseverance, shaping his future in the entertainment industry. His interest in acting sparked during childhood, inspired by local theater performances attended with family. These experiences fueled a passion that drove him to pursue acting professionally. Despite initial skepticism, his family's support played a crucial role in his determination to succeed. In the late 1950s, Fuller's career took a significant turn with a contract from a major studio, marking the beginning of his prolific journey in entertainment. Early challenges, from auditions to navigating the competitive industry, molded his resilience and commitment. A mentor in Fuller's early life recognized his potential, guiding him through the industry intricacies. This mentorship provided valuable insights, contributing to his craft's development. It was a defining influence, helping him navigate Hollywood's complexities. As he honed his skills, Fuller embraced diverse roles, showcasing his adaptability. His ability to portray different characters and genres contributed to his enduring career. Notable roles in both television and film solidified his place in the hearts of audiences. In conclusion, Robert Fuller's upbringing in Troy, New York, set the stage for a remarkable journey in the entertainment industry. Influenced by family support, local theater experiences, and crucial mentorship, he overcame challenges to become a respected and adaptable actor. His presence remains in classic Hollywood. Robert Fuller, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, faced not only the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry, but also personal struggles, including substance abuse and addiction. Despite his success on screen, life behind the scenes was not immune to challenges. Growing up in Troy, New York, his early years were shaped by a tight-knit family that instilled values of hard work and perseverance. However, the pressures of Hollywood took their toll, leading him down a path of substance abuse. The demanding nature of the industry, coupled with constant scrutiny, contributed to his struggles. In the late 1950s and beyond, Hollywood brought its own set of challenges auditions, and the cutthroat nature of the industry demanded resilience. Amidst these hurdles, his determination was tested. It was during this time that he grappled with substance abuse, seeking solace in unhealthy coping mechanisms. Navigating Hollywood proved daunting, but he was not alone. A mentor in his early life recognized his potential and provided guidance through the intricacies of the industry. This support, however, did not shield him entirely from the pitfalls of substance abuse. The mentorship served as a crucial compass, but the battles within were profound. Despite these struggles, his adaptability as an actor remained evident. His ability to portray diverse characters showcased his talent, contributing to his lasting career. However, the shadows of substance abuse and addiction lingered, impacting his personal and professional life. In conclusion, his journey in the entertainment industry was not devoid of personal struggles, including substance abuse and addiction. The competitive and demanding nature of Hollywood, combined with personal battles, created a nuanced narrative. His ability to persevere and adapt on screen contrasted with the internal struggles he faced, painting a vivid picture of a Hollywood icon dealing with personal demons behind the scenes. In Hollywood, Robert Fuller's presence goes beyond just his on-screen roles. A great example of his camaraderie occurred at Norman Lloyd's 100th birthday celebration in Los Angeles on November 9, 2014. Alongside his wife Jennifer Savage and James Best, they all shared in the joyous occasion, highlighting the lasting friendships formed in the entertainment industry. In the early stages of his career, his versatility stood out in his 17th film, Friendly Persuasion, where he played a youthful soldier at a shooting gallery. This was a non-speaking role, showing his commitment to diverse roles. Before his well-known role as a doctor on emergency, in the 1970s, Fuller's reputation was firmly established in westerns, he was the star of Laramie and a co-star on Wagon Train, displaying his adaptability across genres. His Hollywood journey began in 1952 as a small contract player for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, 
laying the foundation for a prolific career. The transition from non-speaking roles to various characters and shows exemplifies his evolution as an actor. His life in Hollywood is a story that blends friendships, milestones, and professional growth seamlessly. He navigated the complexities of the industry, embracing challenges, and leaving a lasting impression on classic Hollywood. In Hollywood, actors often form genuine bonds beyond the glitz of the screen. An example of this occurred at Norman Lloyd's 100th birthday celebration in Los Angeles on November 9, 2014, where he, alongside his wife Jennifer Savage and James Best, shared in the joyous occasion. Such moments highlight the lasting friendships in the entertainment industry. Amidst the competitive Hollywood scene, Robert Fuller showcased his versatility early in his career. In his 17th film, Friendly Persuasion, he took on a non-speaking role as a youthful soldier at a shooting gallery, showing his commitment to diverse roles. Before his role as a doctor on emergency, in the 1970s, Fuller's reputation was firmly established in westerns, starring in Laramie and co-starring on Wagon Train, illustrating his adaptability across genres. Starting his Hollywood journey in 1952 as a small contract player for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, Fuller evolved from non-speaking roles to embodying various characters in shows, illustrating his growth as an actor. His Hollywood story is woven with friendships, milestones, and professional development. Navigating the intricacies of the industry, he embraced challenges, leaving a lasting impression on classic Hollywood. Beyond the real, he engaged in diverse experiences like going fishing with James Best, showcasing the camaraderie that extended off-screen. In the 1970s, he took on the role of a spokesperson for the Food and Drug Administration, addressing poisoning issues. Additionally, he appeared at the Memphis Film Festival at the Whispering Woods Hotel and Conference Center in Olive Branch, Mississippi on June 6, 29. Fuller's Hollywood journey, marked by friendships, versatility, and adaptation, paints a vivid picture of an actor whose influence extends beyond the characters portrayed on screen, navigating the industry's complexities with resilience. In the mid-1960s, he made a brief but memorable appearance in a documentary showcasing his American automobile lifestyle. Driving his deluxe camper top pickup and a small off-road motorbike, he added a personal touch to the glimpse into his life. Later, in Emergency, he portrayed Dr. Kelly Brackett. Despite the show's good ratings, it faced a hiatus in 1977 after its sixth season due to the potential loss of its star. However, the series returned in 1978 and 1979 as six movie specials, often considered as season seven. Known for his role as Jess Harper in Laramie, he stands as one of the last living main adult male characters from a Western series originating in the 1950s. His endurance in the industry is highlighted by the passings of his co-stars Peter Brown and Hugh O'Brien in 2016, leaving him among the few remaining actors from that era. His career transitioned from non-speaking roles to diverse characters, notably in Friendly Persuasion, where he played a youthful soldier at a shooting gallery in his 17th film. Before becoming Dr. Brackett, his reputation was firmly established in westerns, showcasing his adaptability across genres. In addition to his on-screen achievements, his camaraderie with colleagues was evident at Norman Lloyd's 100th birthday celebration in 2014. Sharing the joyous occasion with his wife Jennifer Savage and James Best, these moments underscore the lasting friendships formed in the entertainment industry. Beyond acting, he engaged in diverse experiences. In the 1970s, he took on the role of a spokesperson for the Food and Drug Administration, addressing poisoning issues. Notably, he appeared at the Memphis Film Festival in 2009, showcasing his continued connection with fans. In conclusion, his Hollywood journey is marked by versatility, lasting friendships, and a commitment to diverse roles. His influence extends beyond characters portrayed on screen, navigating the industry's complexities with resilience.